So going back to your long division stuff, which everyone hates, right? If we did, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, how would that work? Um, 1, 5, 9, 6 divided by 3, right? You'd have your dividend, 1596, your numerator, divided by your denominator. Hopefully this looks kind of familiar. And 3 doesn't go into 1, but it goes into 15 five times. And then you did 5 times 3, which is 15, but then you'd subtract it out. Hopefully everyone remembers that, and that gives us 0. Then we drop the 9, and we say to ourselves, Self, how many times does 3 go into 9? 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9, and we subtract that. And we continue that process on to the right. Now, if by chance we ended up with some remainder here at the bottom, which in this case would be 0, um, then at the end we could say you're going uh, to add the remainder but divided by your original um, divisor there, or your denominator. So this is what we have. Um, if we wrote this as one single fraction, it's not really going to help anything. So what we need to do is use long division like we were talking about. Uh, the process is still the same. We have our dividend, which is our leading term here. Okay, Which would be the numerator. So I'm going to write that out. All right. So there's our numerator or our dividend. We're going to divide that by the denominator or our divisor, 4x plus 8. So here's, here's what we have to do now is what we're going to focus most on is this 4x right here. Uh, we'll still operate on that plus 8, but um, for the most part, again, we're just looking at that 4x. And we got to see specifically how many times does 4x go into 8x cubed. So it's a, what I recommend doing is focusing on the numbers. So for example, how many times does 4 go into 8? And we go into it two times, right? Now, if I multiply 2 times 4x, I'd get 8x. Now, that's 8x cubed, though. So how many x's am I missing to cancel that out? Yeah, I need, I need two more x's, right? So I'd have an x squared like this. Now what happens is I have that 2x squared. It's 2x squared times 4x. So I'm going to show that over here. 2x squared times 4x, what would that give us? Yeah, that would give us 8x cubed, right? Now, since when I multiply those two, I get a positive 8x, that's what I'm going to take away from the 8x cubed. Oh, that's a cube. That's a bad start for me, right? Um, but I also have to take that 2x squared and multiply it by the 8 as well. So 2x squared times 8, uh, that would give me 16x squared, but I'm going to subtract those out as well. By the way, and I should have mentioned this before, so I apologize, but the uh, dividend, which is this leading polynomial here, it has to be in descending order for us to use long division. Otherwise, it throws everything out of order which may make things a little bit more difficult, all right? Not only that, but let's say that there was no, let's say that this came out as a 16x, then we'd have to move it over here because so that we can combine like terms. You'll, you'll just see some of that on the homework, all right? So be very careful. So let's go ahead and operate on these. First, we've got this 8x cubed minus 8x cubed, which, uh, well, that gives us zero, and we don't really have to show that, right? So we canceled out those x cubed with the 8x cubed, which is what we wanted. Now we have that 18x squared minus 16x squared, which leaves us with 2x squared. And what I like to do at this point is to drop these other two terms. Otherwise, sometimes I forget about them. Maybe you guys don't have that problem. I do, so I'm going to keep those there. Now this is all that we have left from what we started with in the dividend, all right? Now we're going to apply that 4x plus 8 
to this 2x squared plus 16x plus 24 the same way that we did that original polynomial. All right, <clears throat> now hopefully this one isn't too confusing, but how many times will 4 go into 2? They won't go in any full times, right? But uh, we could half it, right? So <laughs> just focus on the numbers for now, all right? So what's 1 half times 4? Well, that gives us that 2 right there, right? And, of course, we'd subtract that out. And then the 2s cancel out. But we need the x squares to cancel out as well. So, and that was a positive 1 half. Um, so we're missing how many x's? Yeah, we're missing 1x. So 1 half x times 4x would give us that 2x squared. Of course, that's not finished. All right. Uh, so we have to do the 1 half x times the 8 as well. So that would be 1 half times 8 is 4 times the x. Well, 4x, and we'll subtract that because it came out positive. So we're going to take that away from the 16x's, which leaves us with 12x. Like I said, I like to drop that 24 right there, which was plus. All right. So we got 4x's. How many 4x's are there in 12x's? Three. There's three of those. So we're going to put this three here. That'll be positive. So three times 4x is 12x, which we'll take away. And then also we've got that three times the eight as well, which is a 24, which we're going to take out. And we're left with zero. Uh, originally, this would have been the remainder. But since there is no remainder, there's no need to tag it on. This is our final answer. All right. Now, of course, everyone would have want to check this because they love this so much. So here's what you would do to check this stuff is you're going to take your answer, your 2x squared plus 1 half x or x divided by 2 and then plus 3. Now, what you're going to need to do is multiply this by the divisor, which was 4x plus 8, and you should get our dividend.